Within a day, I'd increase my speed by 10 words per minute using just one simple switch up or change. And in this video, we're gonna be talking about how you can implement these small changes to benefit your words per minute by a lot. You just don't know it yet. So let's get into the video. Now with typing, typing is a very mental thing because your brain is looking at words on a screen and then it's transmitting information from your brain to your fingers and then your fingers are then typing out those words that your brain sees on the screen. So lots of the stuff that might affect your typing happens when your brain is thinking different things and it's hard to focus on the text. For example, I find it very, very difficult for me to talk and type at the same time. Now some people can do that easily, they can still type really fast and they can talk at the same time, but for me it's very, very distracting and I have to stop typing almost completely. Now, another example is trying to multitask. Now, some people can focus on one screen and type at the same time, whereas I have to be completely focused on the text that I'm typing in order for me to be able to type it out properly. And there are many other examples of like mental things that are happening in your brain while you're typing. On the 60 second test, for example, on monkey type, I have to be very, very accurate, I think, for my brain to want to not quit the test, not restart, and want to continue to try to get a new personal best. So these are just some examples. On the other hand, though, typing is very physical because it's what your fingers are doing. On, For example, a membrane and a mechanical keyboard could make a big difference in the typing experience, or the type of switch that you're using, whether you're using a linear, clicky, or tactile switch, or it could be the amount of spring that your switch actually has in it, so how hard you have to actually press in order for your switch press to actuate. And there are a lot of small things that happen physically that actually matter to your typing a lot. It could be someone tilting their head, because I know a lot of people I've seen, they have to tilt their head and actually order to type fast. It's a very weird thing. So yes, typing is very mental, and typing is also very physical. So why does this matter? It's because by changing up the smallest of things, you can make a big impact on your typing experience and that it's exactly what happened to me. Now to tell my small story, on monkey type, I got very, very used to having the live word sprint counter. And that's because on nitro type, of course, you have your live word sprint that's going on all the time. And for some reason, I can focus on both that and the text. On monkey type, I loved having my live word sprint because I could, even if I made an error, I'd still be able to recover and be like, okay, this is the speed I'm currently going at. Without the live word sprint, I'd find it very difficult to, to want to keep on going when I made like a series of errors on a text. Whereas if I had my live word sprint, I could see that it only impacted me by about five words per minute. So on Safari, what happened was live words per minute stopped working for monkey type and I had to not use live words per minute. I had to basically, in my mind, go blind and just type without knowing what my current words per minute was. And I was doing fine. I mean, I, I was still increasing my speed by a lot. I was typing fine, but I wanted to get live words per minute back because I knew it would probably have an impact on my typing. So I downloaded Google Chrome and used a different browser and live words per minute worked on that browser and the day of, I got a new personal best in the 180s. The next day, I got a 188 personal best on the 60 second test. And yesterday, I was able to get 191 words per minute on the 60 second test. All because of just a very, very simple change, me using the live words per minute feature. Now, why do I think this impacted me? And I think it's because when I make an error, I need to be able to see how much it actually affects my typing. Because I felt that I could continually type with live words per minute on, I could continue to type 190 words per minute for a sustained period of time. Without live words turned on, I would have no idea where I was, and I'd find it very mysterious and confusing whenever I'd make a few errors as to where it actually was in my typing. So just by making that small switch of having that, that sort of those numbers on the screen that told me what I was currently typing made a huge difference in my typing average and my typing personal bests in the future. Now, that's the small thing that I think affected me, but there are many other things that affect you, and that's what I'm gonna be giving a tip on today. Now, to list a few, one of them is fingernails. Now, this may seem really weird and really wacky, but I find that if my fingernails are longer, it'll actually start scraping against the keyboard, and then my, my fingers are actually gonna start slipping. So I find that when I've trimmed my fingernails, I can be more accurate on the keyboard. A weird thing, but it actually works for me. Now, fingernails is a physical thing. Another mental thing, though, is people talking and distractions in the background while you're typing. I find that whenever I'm in an area where I have much less distractions, I'm able to type a lot better. So maybe this means for you, find another place to type. I find physically, when I'm typing, I actually got quite used to typing with my computer on my lap, and I found that I was actually able to type faster. So 
there are very, very small things. I can't list them all. There's endless things, for example, seeing your errors. So like blind mode on, on monkey type, where if you see your errors and you can see the red on your screen, then it's going to distract you. Um, this could be, for example, the theme, like the stylish you're using in Nitrotype or in Monkey Type, or the theme you're using in Monkey Type or whatever. Like the extension you're putting in. I don't care, they're very small things and it would take way too much time to list all of them. But the point of this video is to find those small things that you think might have an impact on your typing and to change them and to switch them up a bit because it can have a big impact for you. For me, it most definitely did, and I was able to type a lot better. Thank you for watching, and I hope you found this video helpful. If you want to see more typing tips videos, please click the link to the playlist that is playing in the top right corner. I hope that you enjoyed the video. Type on and type faster.